Rockwell Group was invited to take a look at the Hayes Theater eight or nine years ago. It was an extremely personal project for me because of its location and the significance of the Broadway community um, to me, which I find inspiring. It was built in 1912 as the Little Theater as a reaction against bigger commercial theater. So even in 1912, there was this, I'm gonna be the indie guy. When Second Stage acquired the Helen Hayes, they wanted a place on Broadway to, to do their mission, which is living American uh, contemporary playwrights. So as we looked at it, we thought there was an opportunity to marry the mission of Second Stage and to make it a contemporary space and still honor the, the landmark building. We found in our research these tapestries that hung when the building opened up. We created a language of small, individually shaped pieces, sort of pointillist, which is not unlike a tapestry, which is done with points. When you're in the aisles, the shapes and the patterns come into focus because it's pixelated and it's low resolution. When you're close to it, when you're near the wall, you just read pattern. Collaborative is a word architects use a lot. Theater, you're doing your work in real time. So I always found that um, sort of hypnotic, and it's what I brought to our architecture for the first 15 years of our practice. So before doing theater, I was abstracting ideas from theater into our built work. I'm a total, total theater nerd, and it's such an honor to be a part of the history of Broadway theaters. I think they're miraculous. Those forms of engagement and storytelling, I think, are um, critical to the life beat of the city. So it's, it is amazing to be a part of that. With the Helen Hayes, uh, you know, I'm gonna get to come back and see other work Second Stage has done, and I'm gonna get to see how other artists interact with our work. That really is uh, exciting and got to pinch yourself that you get to you get to do those things because they do not come along more than once in a lifetime